So this is just for the record. Um, it's right around 11, 15 p.m. on Friday, October 11th. And I'm wiped out. I had a really long day. Woke up at 5.30, um, had coffee, got stuff done, went back to sleep at around uh, 9.45 or 10.30, slept until 1, then hammered out a legal brief between 2 and 3.30, 145 actually and 3:30. Then spent 30 minutes trying to email it to the court. Finally figured out another way of getting around the uh, blockage that always occurs when I try to email stuff about the landlord to the courts or to law enforcement, and sent it anyway. And then spent the next couple hours doing some emailing, and then did some cleaning, a little bit of organizing in this place, and then called my mom and dad. And. Uh, the psycho scum career hate stalking ass wipes in 76 and the rejected piece of filth that keeps accessing the vacant premises of 78 and the violent, aggressive, hideously ugly masturbator in 88. They've all been getting really agitated and violent against the shared walls of my unit throughout the day today because they're pieces of shit that have no lives and do nothing other than hate stalk people and harass them. They are placements of the Department of Mental Health. They never leave the building. They don't go anywhere for holidays. They don't seem to really have any social lives, um, aside from hate stalking people and then collaborating with other low life scum hate stalkers. I don't know, why, why can't they just perv and creep all over each other, right? Like, why can't these hideously ugly sex offender ass wipes perv and creep all over each other? They should instead of harassing people who have more going on than they do. Why can't they just cannibalize each other, right? I mean, they're all on the same level, but they're stupid. So they go, they try to harass people who are way past where they are. And that's a fact. And what they do is try to steal things from people who they perceive as having more than they do, like literally try to steal stuff out of their apartments. My debit card, my health insurance card, my EBT card was stolen out of my handbag a few weeks ago. I had to get replacements for all of those. Never found them because they were stolen out of my handbag. People keep stealing stuff out of my shopping bags when I leave them in the hallway for a couple of minutes after getting back from the grocery store. You know, they're just miserable, rejected, parasitic filth. And one of the things I've been trying to do is basically email defamatory and derogatory materials about me to whichever individuals they think I might have a romantic interest in. And they do this by hacking into my cell phone and figuring out who I like and who I email and who I hang out with and all that stuff. And what they do is they literally email unflattering, gossip, slander, whatever, to the people they think that I am interested in either dating or hanging out with. That is an act of pathetic desperation. And these asswipes are so stupid, they think that that stuff works. It doesn't. My friends, even my romantic interests, don't care about the lies, the gossip, even the unflattering images based on the surveillance devices that are in this unit. They, they don't care about that. My friends are my friends, and my soulmates are my soulmates. And thankfully, you have more than one soulmate, and I have been blessed with a number of soulmates. So when one of them falls off the radar, God sends me a few others. And that's been going on for a long time, right? Because God knows there's free will and people can walk away whenever they want. And if they are so easily diverted as to like literally go in the other direction, when somebody sends them an unflattering uh, email about me, then they're not worth having around anyway, right? So the true soulmates stick around regardless, and they are there, you know, because it's God's plan. These pathetic, filthy, hate-stalking asswipes try to mess with God and with what God intends, right? When God wants you to have something, you have it. You absolutely have it, and nobody especially not these perving, creeping rejects, can take it away from you no matter how hard they try. If God wants someone to be with you, then you will be with that person, regardless of how 
unflattering the nasty images are that these asswipes email to people that they think you're interested in. If somebody is attracted to you, if somebody's interested in you, they will love you for who you are, not for what, you know, you look like in the morning. And they will love you for your essence, what makes you you, right? I mean, we've all seen Tom Brady looking a little haggard and a little sweaty and messy after football games. Who cares, right? He's still Tom Brady. He's still a brilliant quarterback, a really good looking guy, even when he's sweaty or haggard looking because he just played a four hour game or whatever. Who cares, right? If you love Tom Brady, you love Tom Brady. You don't care if he looks like hell after having had the flu for two weeks or whatever, right? Who cares? But these pathetic, rejected, idiotic, moronic, hate stalkers think that they don't understand, like they don't understand love, right? They don't know what love is. They think that you can kill love by sending unflattering images of somebody to their love interest or the person they want to date. No, you can't. You cannot kill love, you pathetic, rejected pieces of shit. You should probably just go jump off a cliff if that's what you think. And obviously, they don't know what love is, which is really sad for them, but they don't deserve it. They really don't. There's some nasty pieces of shit who literally spend their entire wasted, rejected, asswipe lives hate stalking people, stealing from them, trying to harm people in whatever way they can, trying to defame people in whatever they way they can. And they target people they don't even know. I don't know any of these pieces of shit. They happen to have been placed around me by Oleg Elisayev, the malignant property manager of the Greenville Group. He's a sociopath. Definitely a sociopath, and I can say that. I have a PhD level education in clinical developmental psychology, three years of clinical internship under my belt, and a published thesis for that PhD program that was nationally published and presented at the National Convention. I know what I'm talking about. Oleg Lissiev is a sociopath, and he has deliberately placed some very malignant, psycho scum, rejected career ass wipes in all three adjacent units to mine. And these pieces of shit do not know what love is. They keep trying to divert my soulmates by somehow finding out who they are based on what I write in my phone or the emails that I send, and then sending unflattering information about me to these soulmates. And I, and they just don't know what love is. If a soulmate is easily diverted, then maybe they're not worth your time, right? And if it is true love, then nothing is going to stop that shit. But these rejects are too stupid to know that. They're too miserable, angry, and jealous to know that. And they don't deserve to know what love is because they are so malignant that they should probably just do the planet a favor and go jump off a cliff. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my divinely ordained soulmate connections because these asswipes cannot mess with God. And those connections are still there and they always will be because they're put there by the divine and these rejected gutter trash can't touch that. You can't mess with God rejects. So stop trying.